You're going to start by humming, aren't you? <laughs> All right, folks. Welcome to the Off Center Archers. This is episode number 35. I'm Anthony. And this is Stephanie. And today there's going to be a bunch of stuff going on. Doug, uh, our buddy in Florida, did his first 3D competition, and we got some updates on how he did. Yes. Actually, he did very well from what I would figure for a person to go into their first shootout with. Yeah, your first uh, 3D shoot. I mean, you kind of got to have your settling in time and your shit, what do I do time. And That's what I'm saying. Like, it, I mean, even if he went in with like some nerves going, he still did really good. Mm. You know. But nerves are good, though. Nerves are always good to have. Right. Keeps right. you on your toes. When you get too comfortable, that's when it's bad. You, always, you never want yourself in any situation to be too comfortable. With because mm-hmm. then you don't progress. You just kind of flatline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What are you? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. What? So, it's, it's true. You want to no, always no, put yeah, yourself you, well, you in an uncomfortable and... situation. Yes. And then you'll improve and then you start getting comfortable and you got to kind of just try for more. Yep. That is true. That, well, it's a good idea to do it that way because then you just keep progressing. Yeah. That's make what yourself I just better said. and better and better. All right. Um, what else? We got an update <laughs> on your bow setup that's going to change. Yes. We have a, a bunch of. A bunch of items that we ordered. A bunch, yes. A bunch. bunch is a good word for it. Bunch. A bunch. A bunch. A bushel. Yes. No, a bunch. A, not a, a bushel. No. No, it's not <laughs> twigs. It's worth a hell of a lot more than fucking twigs. And then we have an event coming. And up. then we have an event to go to, and uh, actually we have an event to go to in two weeks mm-hmm. here in South Carolina, and then in May we go to uh, Tennessee. This, yeah. Okay. You kind of jumping all over the place in the beginning. I'm just giving a Let's... rundown. We don't, we don't have a list. We don't need to run down. Okay. So let's start with Doug. So <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Doug went to who his uh, 3D shootout that we've been, 3D shoot, I keep saying shootout, 3D shoot that we have mentioned <laughs> down there in Melbourne, South, uh, Melbourne, Florida. <laughs> Man, I am just butchering shit today. My God. Anyway, uh, he did actually rather well, like I said. Um, I would have expected his first time out because he's not used to shooting 40 yards at animals. He's used to, you know, just your standard points target. I was figuring he would have probably got around half. And right now the max allowable points, uh, 14 rings were not in play at this shoot. So it was only 5, 8, 10s, and 12s. So out of a possible max score of a 480, he did get a 316. Now, which is not bad when you consider he's only using a 3-pin sight. He has no magnification whatsoever. Wait, One. before any of that, mm-hmm. you got to start off with the fact that when he was on our podcast right at New Year's. Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah. He, he's only been shooting three months. He yeah. has not even, he wasn't even shooting. Right. That was the first time he picked up a bow. Yeah, that is correct. That is totally correct. Yeah, Doug has only been shooting. Yeah, so all right, yeah, everybody keep that in mind. Doug mm-hmm. only has three months, not three years, three months behind a bow. No, not even three months. All March. Of, all of all of January, all of, yeah. all of February, and right. we just started March. Okay, so two and a half months. Two, Jesus Christ! Two months and a shit. week. Two months and a week. Okay, okay, that's fine. Whichever. Listen, three weeks can make a difference. All right. So, yes, <laughs> he. God. <laughs> Podcast is taking a turn for the shit already. It's not. Um, Stop it. <laughs> so. But no, he did really well. I mean, 316 is really good. Uh, he did get quite a bit of uh, 10s and 12s through a lot of these shots. Mm-hmm. You can see on the front side of the card as he was in the beat, the first couple of animals, that that's when he was learning where to kind of aim, where the points rings were on the animals. Yeah. Because uh, that's where you see a lot more of his fives. But the back 20 uh, targets, he... Yes, the back 20 shots, because they were taking two shots per target. Right. The back 20 shots, he only had three fives. Uh, whereas in the first 20 shots, he had about, I want to say, 10 of them. Yeah, so, I mean, so, you're kind of learning. Yeah, as he was going through the course, he definitely, like, you know, notched the pace up really well. Everything else from there on, even, like I said, on the back, he's only got three fives. He actually only has four eights. All the other 13 shots are all 10s and 12s. On his back half of his card. That's good. Yeah, that is. It's it's very good. So he, you know, the the front side of his card. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, see, the front side he only scored a one thirty one on his first twenty shots. On the back side of his card, he got a one eighty five. So back half, he definitely, uh, he definitely picked it up really, really well. Mm-hmm. No, it's good, especially for his first time out. And absolutely, 
you know, um, I don't really care about all the other things that you're saying he has on his bow. It's the fact that he only started in in the beginning of the year. You could actually right. mark it like January 1st if you want to. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. he started, like, from picking up, like, hey, I'm going to try this. So it goes to show you, you know, it doesn't uh, doesn't take a lot to, to kind of get the ball rolling. Right. You yeah, just got to actually get off your ass and do it. Mm-hmm. Instead of exactly. putzing around like, yeah, I'll do something. But they did. I mean, this the, he sent me pretty much photos of every single target they were shooting at. And there's deers, bedded deers, elk, javelinas, a, a gator, which you were a like, gator. oh, shit, there's a gator target. Yeah, I know. Florida, so, I could be like, is that the real one or is that a... No, no, it was a target. You could see the uh, the core uh, turkeys <laughs> in it. I already said bedded deers, wolves. So I, it, it, it was definitely a well set up course and it's very very clean too i gotta give them props for that because mm-hmm. i mean all the lanes where the animals were everything is super super clean so it's good yeah, yeah no he did real well but he says don't they hold one every what month he, every month yeah the, that event? the area he's in that one does it like once a month and then like one of the other ones and you know another county or something mm-hmm. does theirs once a month so but still it's really good to be close by somewhere that actually you know, keeps up on the events that actually does oh, yeah. one every month. So if you wanted to, you can enter in at once a month and then, you know, kind of hone in on certain skills and. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and he's at that range. I mean, shit, he's there. He's twice a week at minimum, Yeah. at a minimum, you know, and he goes every Saturday. He actually, so three times a week cause he's been going twice during the week. Yeah. Cause he gets off work earlier. So he has the option to go, mm-hmm. which is good. But no, I'm I'm glad that uh, he kind of fell into that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's awesome. It's a good activity. Mm-hmm. It's fun, even if you're not trying to do any com- competitions or anything like that. It's a it's a nice way to get out and unwind instead of you know the the normal grind kind of deal. I think it also it's it's a good part to just go do it because you throw that added pressure against yourself, mm. and then you see if you could still make the shot with other people watching and. All That's that not everyone's involved. problem. No, no, I'm just saying. No, it, it, That's well, just my problem. Well, yes, we know that's your problem. <laughs> like, people are watching me. Oh, my God. No, no, no. It's, it's weird. It's weird. I think it it's like it defective. No, you're not defective. Retarded. Uh, all right, whatever. You're blonde. <laughs> Retarded. <laughs> so, um, what, where do you want to go now? Hmm? Want to go into the bow or go to events first? Go, you know, let's keep it on the events. Okay. So we got. Uh, I'm. I'm excited about this one. This one's pretty cool. But I'll let you. I'll let you. I was gonna start off with the one this month. Oh, okay. Go that too. Okay. So this <laughs> month we are going the weekend of the twenty fourth. Yeah, we've been saying this though. Okay, but we're going to the Sportsman Palmetto show. State Classic Sportsman Show here in South Carolina. In yeah, Columbia. something like that. Is there a? Uh, is, you know, I know you keep checking back. But has there been a list posted up of all the oh yeah there's vendors? a big yeah there's a vendor list up yeah yeah Is it's there? posted now we'll have to mm-hmm. uh, we'll have to take a look because I know usually if you can hold off and go to a sportsman show and buy any kind of supplies from the show they usually run a better deal than right. if you're going normally to a, a store right yeah that's what well that's what we've seen <clears throat> even up when we were in New York they were running specials you know any bow on the rack was a hundred dollars off didn't matter what it was you yeah. Know? Yeah. The carbons were like two hundred and change off when we were at the the New York Sports. But even show. not even just bows, just other kind of like packs and. Oh yeah, yeah, ba- the, well, yeah. The one we were in New York, they had uh, two boots of guys just selling backpacks or hunting packs, hiking packs, whichever yeah. we want to call them. Binoculars, some range with finders, some without, you know, hydration fill, um, bladders. Yeah. So. So you can always kind of catch a deal at a sportsman show. So if you can hold off and go to one before anything, you have to do as far as like purchasing. Any kind of uh, necessity, right? I don't know how else to word it because they—I no, mean—they sell so much more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the second event in May is the one that Steph's and me are both excited for. Yes, yes. We are going to be going to the Total Archery Challenge that's been added to their uh, their roster here in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. It's going to be right outside of Chattanooga. Uh, Bel- it's Bel- in Belvedere. No. Uh, yeah, isn't it? I'm pretty well, sure it's I'll Belvedere. Look it, let me look it up. I know it begins with a B. Oh. Um, keep going. I'll look it up. So, but yes, we're we're gonna go there that Saturday. Um, because it's a three day event. They're running it a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they actually they've added other, uh, other events all over the place. 
this year. That the San Antonio, Texas now has one. Uh, South Dakota has one, and it's the usual ones: Utah, Colorado, Montana. They all still have theirs. But now, you know, the Southeast finally has its own. This, uh, the Northeast has one out in Pennsylvania. Okay, so here, here's the list of the events. Actually, if you're interested in what we're talking about, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's a it's Total Archery Challenge. So you can go to, to- totalarcherychallenge.com, and um, you can basically look, check out their website. And because as we're going through this, if you're interested, it's something really cool to check out. And their event locations are the one that we're going in. Yeah, it's Belvedere. Tennessee. That's what I said. Yeah. No, uh-huh. I, I didn't think it was Belvedere. For some no. reason, I thought it was something else. So, our event is May 18th through the 20th. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a three day event. You can buy a uh, one day, two day, or three day pass to shoot. And you only have to buy like a day pass. So, we bought one day. And since, you know, since the first one and we have two kids, we kind of have to, we're limited on time. We can't just go out there for three days and yes, yeah, putz around. Absolutely. So you can buy um, like the one day and then you can go there and they have an opening of when they uh, open the the course up. I guess you can call it a course. It was, yeah. Uh, open the course up and then when they close everything down. So they have the, the time in between and you can actually do, even though you only bought one day you can actually go through courses more than once so mm-hmm. if you go through and you finish it like two three hours later you can actually go to start, lunch and go do the next one yeah you can do more than one they have four setups in Tennessee. Right. so and i'm pretty sure they have four in all of them they do four levels. most courses. of the ones that i've seen in videos it was three so this time mm-hmm. there's four this time they always have a locals one which is you know right. 40 yards and under which we're gonna since this is one of our first events of going to this type of this type of event we're going to do the locals one, which is a shorter one. And then we're going to do the mountain ops course, which goes up to, I think, 75 yards. And yeah, then they have one mar- course mark. from Sitka and one course from Prime, which it's going to be like throwing bombs because there's going to be 100-yard shots, mm-hmm. shooting down off crazy uh, crazy angles, cliff edges, and stuff like that. So Yeah, I think the angles is what gets you, is going to be the harder part than just the distance. Because, I mean... If you're shooting straight line for whatever yardage, right. you only have to worry about straight line. Right. But then if you get to hills, this is probably going to be where my problem is going to be. Right. It's the adjustment. It's the adjustment. Because I notice that instead of whenever I try to shoot lower mm-hmm. on some of our targets, they uh, I don't bend properly. Like in my mind. You don't hitch at the hip. You yeah. Get, you drop the shoulder. See, in my mind, I'm like, okay. This is how I'm bending, and you know how you picture yourself of what you're doing, and then you'll hopefully like follow through what you're doing. Mm-hmm. In my mind, I'm fa- I'm bending at my hips like you're supposed to. I'm like, this is great. But then if you're looking at me, you're like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> 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 Have I taught this sh- this bitch nothing? Well, fuck? no, I, I tell you all the time. And <coughs> you're like, ah, I don't know why it's high because you dropped your shoulder. That's all. I know, and, and you know that just. It, it comes from muscle memory. You just have to keep doing it. You just have well, to keep everyone, doing it. Well, everyone, everyone's doing always it. used to shooting shoulder level. Yeah. No, you know, a lot of people don't practice angled shots. Yeah. So, you know, when we go to this event, there's going to be, like I said, like the, the, during the morning on Saturday, we're going to do the local run just to go through it, everything to 40 yards or yeah. 45 yards. Well, this is our first time. We have never, we don't know what to expect. Right. And then after that, uh, we'll, do the other one. we'll probably do the, the first one in the morning get something to eat, and then go do the second one and just take our time going through the second one because there's going to be a lot farther shots. There's going to be some angles involved, but it's going to be you know the prime course and the Sitka course, which are the ones are supposed to push the experienced archer who's done these type of events before. Yeah. So. Um, and the price is really good. I got to give them that because it was, what's involved in it, it was it's it's fifty five dollars for a one day pass, seventy five for a two day, and ninety five for all three days. Mm-hmm. And, you know, on Saturday night and Sunday night, they do their usual uh, after hours party. So glow and bone glow, bow and glow. Yeah, glow yeah. And glow. <laughs> which is basically like you have recurves and they throw up like, you know, the, the neon colored dishes and you could shoot them out of the air and all sorts of shit like that. Yeah. If you look on YouTube at some of the videos, I know Mountain Ops, Mountain Ops and Hush have uh, posted their videos. They're actually really, really cool. And they, yep. you know what? 
They even set up some kid lanes too. Some yes. short lanes for kids that you're shooting dinosaurs and zombies. Yes. Which I think yeah, is Yeah, stationary cute. targets and whatnot for little kids. But it's all like, I think there's there's actually going to be two, if I read the, the thing on their website correctly today, there's actually two setups for kids. There's one that goes out to 20 yards and then there's just like stationary targets that are 10 yards. I think so, yeah. So, which think- is really good. I mean, and you can get the whole family involved and have a great day. And then, like I said, Saturday and Sunday, they got their after hours party, you know, beverages and shit like that involved. And, um, well, I don't think it's that kind of after hours. Well, well, from know. the videos that, you, that we've watched, I've seen people drinking or with their red solo cup. So who knows? Maybe it's soda. I doubt it. Um, but it, you know, it seems like everyone's having a good time. They're shooting their bows. I got the, uh, I know there's just one challenge that it's got a bow with a laser on it, and your ob- objective is just to keep the laser at the ball's eye the whole time. I've seen that in a, a couple of the videos. Yeah, that was the uh, okay. So here I I have the uh, all the events up right now. So we'll go back through. Um, basically, the courses that he was talking about. So the locals course, twenty five targets, fifteen to forty yard shots, minimal angles. So right. mostly straight shots. Now, note that they tell people, since they encourage everyone to come to the events, like people, they don't want people thinking like, oh shit, I just started, you know, that's not really events I can go to, I'm not experienced. They encourage everyone. So if you don't think you can make a shot, say you're at a longer yard, yardage, like a yard range right. from what you're used to, and you're like, crap, I don't think I can make this. Mm-hmm. They tell you, you can move closer. Like, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's to shoot at your comfortable zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't want anyone going and not actually enjoying themselves, which is really cool. It's not like a strict, no, you have to shoot from here or you're shit out of luck. Right. So then they have they have a mountain ops course, which is 25 targets, which range 25 to 75 yards with steep angles and good shots that test your skill. So that's kind of like the next step up. Mm-hmm. And then they have the prime course, which they, they're calling the toughest course, but a lot of fun. <laughs> but just for fun. Uh, it's 25 targets. Rocky Mountain Western Shoot. 40 to 100 yards with steep angles and tougher shots. Then you go down to the sick, of course. So still 25 targets. Long shots. You have 60 to 100 yards on sheep, mountain goat, and other awesome species. This course is designed to live up to the demands of the sick gear. So, which is kind of weird because they're calling the prime course their toughest course. Right. But the Sitka course, I guess they have their three levels and then Sitka kind of sponsors their own, like... Their own section. We, we make gear for this kind of... Right, right, right. So, but, you know, it's uh, good to try out. I guess the harder courses, maybe next time around when we go, mm-hmm. um, it's probably mostly because of me. That I'm not as experienced to that kind of. I haven't shooting. shot that distance in years. Mm. Yeah, I mean, most we've been able to work on anything in the last year has been max of thirty. Thirty right now. Yeah, because so. we, you know, it it gets difficult just to find a place to shoot if you don't have a house and you don't have a range that's outside at a longer yardage. You're right. kind of restricted, which is oh, yeah, kind of yeah. where we're at. So we're still finding out, <clears throat> you know, places to go, but, um, you know, you do what you can. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we've been making with, do with what we got right now, but we're going to be looking into, uh, the name of it, Kiyoe mm-hmm. out here in, uh, it's west of Greensville. Yeah. Um, and they have full outdoor range and stuff. It's actually like an archery club, I guess, that we're going to end up joining here very soon. Yeah. The one we were originally looking at, I guess... Uh, business stuff went down and it's yeah. the outdoor range is a no more. Yeah. That was kind of a bummer. Right. Because it was, it was close to where we go anyway. Mm-hmm. Like it was right there. So, <clears throat> but uh, back to this, what he, also he, what Anthony. That's right. I'm a he. <laughs> that guy over there. <laughs> you have gotten my gender correct. <laughs> I am a he. Yeah. We have he's and she's on this podcast. Anyone else? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can fuck off. Oh, God. <laughs> Your fault, humbug. If, if you need to use the bathroom here, it's a male restroom and a female bathroom. A female restroom. It's called a restroom also. 
That's a good job. Slap the mic. You got so <laughs> into that comment, she just bitch slapped her mic. <laughs> okay, so they also include stationary kids range, which Anthony was talking about, mm-hmm. with the dinosaurs and zombies. And they have, uh, I guess, a 10 target set up. Right. And that's the stationary kids range. Now they have a little kids course, which is a 12 target from five, oh, 15, 5 to 20 yards for the kids. And then they have, I guess, uh, some of other novelty shots for like um, prizes, and they have right, like a right. truck you can win, and all the vendors that um, uh, da, 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 the word that I'm looking for. They're there. Um, Their vendors are doing well. The vendors are doing giveaways. I mean, they you get are five sponsors. Sponsors, yes. <laughs> the sponsoring. So they also have all keep the in tests. mind since we mentioned the price and how I said the price is good. I know everyone's going to be like, well, it's $55 for the first day and only $20 for each additional day. But what you get with the first day package is, well, obviously you get to shoot. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like that's the no shit one. But you also get, was it five free rifle tickets and a total archery challenge t-shirt. Yeah. So, so you get the shirt, you get the, um, where was it? You know, I did, I did have it. I'm mm-hmm. just scrolling because my phone is, is just so much more narrow ah fuck oh yeah yeah okay right here so you get uh with your pre-registration that you do so you get the course and then you get your t-shirt and five raffle tickets and then extra entry to win a prime or quest bow so they have a raffle for a truck right and you have raffles to win a a bow depending on um which one's there Mm -hmm. prime or quest so that's actually pretty cool you can walk I, away with the Actually, I think Prime and Quest are the same company, I think. Oh, well, I think one's a division of the other one. Yeah, yeah, well, like one's like how Matthews is the shit, and then they have Mission below them. Yeah, so it just depends on which one they have available for right. whatever event you're going to be at. Exactly. So, and I mean, if you go to their each individual event, you can actually, when you click into it, it'll explain everything. It'll explain the different day schedules. It'll, you know, list the courses, what you're getting. Um, it tells you pricing gives you all a bunch of rules of what can cannot do um and then if you need lodging it gives you the closest uh hotels that you can actually look up and book so i mean they're pretty they're pretty good with all of the information you need for registration and they got a couple events going on right now so you have the closest one coming up is ours because it's it's may 18th to 20th then you have san antonio texas um, actually, no, no San Antonio no, they're, they're, is before they're, us. They're, so they're, the photos on the website are in the wrong order. Yeah, I just noticed that. So, because I'm like, April, April before May? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, April comes before May. You learned that in third grade. And uh, you don't know that. Did you know my third grade history? Uh, I know the curriculum should have been about third grade. That's this chair. This this okay. chair, I think, is breaking more my <laughs> ass. Just Sorry, on you it. guys probably don't hear it because our... our um, technical side of things is getting better, so you can't hear all the squeaking going on. Well, I'm thinking it's our kids, so if you hear me pause, I'm like listening. Okay, is that a tiny human crying? No, nope, that's or the cheap that... ass Walmart chair I'm sitting on. So in April, the 27th to the 29th, they have San Antonio, Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, then in June, they go to Seven Springs, Pennsylvania, and um, they go to Michigan, and then they're in South Dakota. And Utah and Montana. Mm-hmm. So if you are by any one of those and you're interested, then go. I want to try I'd go and check one time go to the one in Montana because I mean the vi- all the videos we've seen from the Big Sky Montana one, right. that shit just looks amazing. Oh yeah, the just view? the scenery and the background and these guys. Are, I mean, even when you think about it, half these videos, and I'm not talking like the good ones from like Hush and the guys from Mountain Ops, they use like really good cameras. Mm-hmm. Even the ones that are absolute garbage that people took with their fucking cell phones, mm-hmm. you cannot beat the mountain scenery in Big Sky or the ones that they do in Utah. It's yeah, like, look at this shit. It could be the most fucked up picture, and you're like, oh, that's gorgeous. You can't, yeah, that's, you know, it, it's one thing you, you can't see all the time. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice to be able to do something like this, an event, and actually see. That's what I'm looking forward to, because, I mean, we've never <laughs> been to Tennessee, and we're going to be going there pretty much for two days two and a half days yeah um well two days because it'll be a half day friday 
Right. All day Saturday, and, and then, then I, I leave, and, leaving Sunday. Yeah, leaving Sunday morning sometime. Yeah. So, I mean, I want to see what's out there. You know, I'm used to where we were in New York, which we knew there was hills and cliffs and all that cr- crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. There's a Hudson Valley's just loaded with that shit. Um, so you know, everything down here, yeah, you know, we live around, around Greenville area, but it's like eh, everything's just a hill. It's like, the, the, the highway just like like rolling hills, and it doesn't seem really like mountainous, really. Well, because we're still kind of in the middle of the the more congested population. Right, right. Um, we'll eventually move out of. That range, mm-hmm. but for just moving to, you know, oh, yeah, this state. is the move into an apartment and get used <laughs> to the area and see what's around. Yeah, because you don't know what's, I mean, you can't really, you can look at all the pictures you want, but you'll never really know a place until you're actually there. Oh, totally agree. Absolutely. So, but yeah, we'll be definitely, I mean, from now until May, we got some time. So you guys will definitely be hearing about this more as we go. Then you're going to be hearing about all the shit we have to buy in order to do this event. You make it sound like it's such a horrible thing. No, no, it's oh, not because it, well, I gotta buy all this stuff now. Ugh. Yeah, well, it's true. <laughs> we do. We have to buy a lot. I mean, man, it's not that not much. Not even like, oh, really? What? Got to have at least at least a dozen arrows. Okay. If not so, more for the, each of us. Yeah. So when you go into something like this, you want to have extra hours because you're going hours? to arrows. Arrows. I didn't. You I said say hours. Hour? Extra hours. I'm like slurring everything. Hour, yeah. Hours. It's been a very long weekend with our children. Yeah. It's, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's no yes. arguing on that one. It's like, oh god, yes, it has. Yeah. So, um, you want to have at least a dozen. They so, recommend when you hit the course, you have twelve on you. That's a dozen. Yes. No. No. So I'm saying, like, don't just think you're gonna go the whole weekend and have twelve. Like, oh no no! no. I'm talking say, in a day uh, basis. You're probably gonna fuck up on some of these angled like shots, and you're basis. gonna lose some arrows yeah. as soon as you hit the course. So there's a good chance you're gonna hit one course, lose six. You better go back to your hotel room or your cabin and go get another six pack of them. So maybe we should have more than just twelve. I don't plan. I plan on bringing like, it, it, in all honesty, I would like to have two dozen each with us. Okay. So. That's, and Stephanie has or has just switched over. Her arrows were actually arriving tomorrow. Yeah. Stephanie now has twenty six and a twenty six and a half inch Easton FMJs, mm-hmm. four hundred spines. So that'll be interesting. Yes, yes. So not only has her arrows been switched, but air switched. Up. Wait, 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 we haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. So besides the arrows, yes, it'll be more punctual. More punctual. No, no. more. What's the word? More. We're not good at big words. Pronunci. No, no, no. Pronun- <laughs> no, no. It's not pronunciation. That you just butchered the shit out of that. My God. No. <laughs> but how about we start with the stuff that we did before we bought your new setup? No, I'm still on the stuff that we have to buy. Oh, okay. We're still on the stuff we have to buy. Okay. So besides the air arrows, we have to buy well, and including all the knocks for them. I'm shooting regular knocks. I'm shooting nocturnals. I have shot five <laughs> of them off arrows in the last two weeks. Yeah, I know. So we're at the range, shot right? Fifty dollars off, and I in think fucking he nocturnals went, in the last two weeks. Yeah, I think he shot off. No, that day I think you went through three. I of went them. through two one day and three the next day. Yeah. So it was fifty dollars in nocturnals, mm-hmm. and those... and you took two of mine. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. But I think I'll because I can't see anything. We're good. The distances are going to be so far, you're going to be looking with a pair of binoculars any goddamn way and have to walk up to the target because you're only going to be able to shoot two arrows at each target. I know. At a max. So it's really not going to matter at that point. Mm-hmm. And right now, we're not shooting 30 yards indoors like we had to at Gander. That the, 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 the lighting in the range of Gander was so bright that you couldn't see the arrows. You needed to have a lighted knock even to see them at 30 yards. Yeah, because but I can't see him now anyway. Don't worry about not being able to see him now. <laughs> I like to see how, where I'm at. <laughs> I like to see where I hit. So besides all that, you need a pair of binoculars. So with yes. us, we don't have to buy two. We could buy one because we'll be together, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then a we gotta range buy two finder. Packs. We have okay, to buy two packs. We have to buy two, two backpacks. Two backpacks. Um... Preferably, they're going to be like the skinnier, long ones that have a bladder in them. Mm-hmm. And also, some of them I know are made where they have a pocket where you slide arrows in. 
or depending on the type we get, um, I may just put arrow tubes in them and like Velcro strap them inside the, the packs. This way we have the arrows on our backs. Yeah, we're not kind of, because I, you know, and I really don't want to quiver or anything on my side. I want the, uh... no, no, it's going to be all, I'm <clears throat> going up and down through mountains and stuff like that. No, no, we're not going to be traveling with hip quivers and stuff like that. It's all going to be on the pack and, you know, I can take one out for you if you need an arrow. It's not a big deal. Yeah, because, I, I mean, I've seen, because they show photos of people going through the courses and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've seen people with them, actually with no pack, just carrying their bow and with their little hip quiver. And mm-hmm. So I guess it's personal preference right. is really what it is. But um, we need we need packs anyway. Right. So, but that is something that we're going to be looking at the sportsman show. To right. See if we can get a deal. We're going to be looking at the sportsman show for the packs, also for the uh, the harness the chest harness to put the binoculars and range finders in. It's a man's yeah. fanny pack. Yes, it's the chest fanny pack, honey. <laughs> That's why I call it a man's fanny pack. Because mm-hmm. they don't wear it around there. Well, no. no. Joe Rogan wears a fanny pack. Yeah, I know. He's got like this black leather one, too. Mm-hmm. He loves it. Mm-hmm. Put all your protein bites in it. Yeah. Having <laughs> <laughs> to hear him and Dudley talk about the on it protein bites uh, while they were munching out and drinking. It's like, uh, it Great. looks like a candy bar. But it's not a candy. It doesn't all like bullshit as a candy bar does. Yeah, it's not like <clears throat> seven grams of protein per one. Yeah, but the problem is we'd eat the, we'd eat the whole box. Yep. So that's, I mean, day. that's the other thing that we're going to come into play when we go that day. Obviously, like I said, we're going to want to have the packs that have the bladders on them. While we're walking through the mountains, we're probably going to have protein bars and all sorts of shit inside the packs. Yeah. You know, probably that's... a first aid kit in case someone takes a tumble. Yeah, like you, because you're accident prone. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm 40. <laughs> Get the walker out. Yeah, that's it. I'm take the garbage out. I'm like, fuck, my knees hurt. Oh, shit. But, uh. <laughs> fucking step off a curb. I'm like, I feel like my left knee's going to explode. <laughs> put him in a fucking wheelchair. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Someone put me down, please. So what we'll do is as we're kind of collecting everything for this event coming up, we're going to go through what we have and what our setup is, and um, the closer to it, we'll, we'll tell you what we're putting in it. Mm-hmm. So anyone else out there who is uh, interested in going to one of these and you've never gone before, you can kind of listen to us and say, okay, um, this is what they're doing. And then after the event, we'll say, like, okay, this worked, or we should have had this, or we wish we didn't bring this, or... Right. Mm-hmm. Something like that. So if you plan on going to one of the later events, then you'll kind of you'll kind of learn, right? Mm-hmm. Or it's a nice option. I, I think right now the biggest thing that's because for for me and you when we go there is going to be just having snacks on us and making sure we have a large enough bladder <clears throat> on us for water and stuff like that. Or, um, and even like if we can get our hands on um. Like Mountain Op sells like their Enduro, whatever, mm-hmm. the BCA complex, whatever. They're and the little, little single servings. Right. And the little tubes, you know, you could always take your water, throw and keep one of those uh, Dasani waters or whatever and dump one of those packs in it so you have extra uh, electrolytes and all that shit while you're on the course and then have a full bladder of water. Yeah. So, um, or instead of the plastic, use it just a, a small re- reusable bottle and then you fill it up with yeah, the yeah. water out of your bladder. Mm hmm. Instead of all that, that what I'm figuring is like what I'm going to try and look for is like two like packs that have a two and a half liter bladder. Right. This way, I know if because a lot of times in, from the stuff you read and the stuff you see on videos, it's taking people two and a half hours, to three hours to go through one, like to do one trip on the twenty five yeah. targets. So, you know, if you figure, you know. Just because you're going to get winded, go if you're depending on how much of an incline, declines you're going through, and whatnot, and depending on the weather that day, and depending, it's it's also going to be mid May, so you might it might be cool, it might be fucking hot as shit. Yeah. So, you know, just just to have the extra uh, stuff on us would be good, you know. So, but I'm I'm those are the things I'm like I'm going to try and keep in mind is you know make sure we have like protein bars and stuff on us, uh, obviously the water. <laughs> have the single serving packets of either the enduro from mountain ops or um fuck i can't remember the company that <laughs> oh the ones from on it whatever yeah them there we go we keep saying on it and i completely brain farted about it um but because they both make that 
that type of like amino complex that you can use while mm-hmm. you're on the go. Yeah, that's another thing I want to eventually be able to get into because there's so many supplements and everything out there as far as to help you mm-hmm. in these in these kind of scenarios or if you're going out on a hunt for an X amount of time. Right. Um, I kind of want us to eventually be able to order some of them and then try mm-hmm. them to either say, wow, this really tastes like shit or... It actually tastes pretty good. Because, you know, some people, they say, like, oh, it tastes great. It tastes great. But they're used to already taking supplements that taste, like, even shittier. So oh, yeah. a, well, a less how, shitty taste is When we were doing better. all of our training and stuff for the Spartan races, how many of those BCAs was, like, drinking fucking sand? Oh, God, it was they disgusting. They would barely dissolve. And yeah. It, and it was in your bottle of water for, like, a half hour. And you look at the bottom, and there's fucking white grit in the oh, bottom of it. It was so disgusting. <laughs> but we also Why am I to, drinking and it's crunchy? What we decided to do is we actually found a monthly box. So what they'd sell, it, it's, it's it's actually going on with a lot of companies right now. The Jack so box. You do, yeah, the Jack box. The Jack box, yes. Yeah. I remember that. So I think they're still around. Yeah, yeah. Jack box. Mm-hmm. So it's basically... There's box clubs for everything right now. Yeah, no. I think there's even a box if you like cats. Sell you a box of shit. You already do. You get that just by owning a cat. <laughs> you know, we just did off topic. I saw <laughs> an ad for on on Google, like YouTube, in between the mm-hmm. videos, and they they even show you those ads that have nothing to do with anything of your like your browsing history or likes or whatever. They just right. throw it out there and hope maybe they hit something. There is this one about a uh, cat spiracy, and I think it was for a kitty litter box. And they went on this, and I didn't know it was for the kitty litter box until like five minutes after the commercial was almost already done. You watched the whole <laughs> autoplay commercial? I was feeding our daughter, so oh, I was kind of okay, stuck. Oh, okay, so you are stuck in a spot there. <laughs> so okay. I couldn't turn it off. And I'm watching this thing, and they had a, a, a cat spiracy of how all of the cat poop is actually stored on the moon. They ship it to the moon, and the, the dust up there is all the... the uh, the cat poop. Oh, nice. That's, I don't know. Nice. Jeez. And the whole thing was, well, if you don't think it's true, can you prove that it's not? It's just, it was the stupidest thing ever. It was so stupid. It's one of those things that you look and it's just so dumb you get a chuckle out of. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Absolutely. So, but yeah, I mean, we have we have an enormous <laughs> list, though. Let's get back to our topic here. Yeah, no, sorry, yeah, but, but no, no. The the box that I was talking about right. is um, it basically came with all of these different kind of um, pre workouts and protein samples and protein yeah, it was like bars ten dollars a month and, or something like that. Yeah, it was ten time. bucks a month, and I mean, you got to try it, it, this array of like different companies, and man. Some of these that we heard reviews on by people who are getting paid to review it. Oh, yeah. These it, are great. No. Oh, God. They were... You know what? Arnold put out the, um, his own line. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And, man, he, he did... Muscle Farm made it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was made by Muscle Farm. And, honestly, he, uh, you know, with everything he did in the fitness and with acting and everything, it was great. Yeah, it's, I mean, you can't beat that. And... Whoever thought this was like a great tasting and it dissolved, which mm-hmm. it didn't dissolve. It was like drinking. No, not at all. It was like you it's went like to the beach, sand on the beach and half the shit like on the beach ended up in your drink and you still drank it. It mm-hmm. was just like, ugh, it was, it was so disgusting. Right. But what I would like to do with some of these uh, more toward the hunting aspect, I would like to be able to try some of these. You know, if anyone is listening that can actually have the, the means of startup to do this. They should see if they can actually get samples from all these different companies uh, and make a box like a. Uh, yeah, I don't know it, if it costs a lot of money. So I like know. I, I've watched the videos from Sarah and Josh Bomar because they have their own line. Yeah. And for them to do single serving packets, like for their proteins, if they could send out packet test packets and all that, apparently it's like a shit ton of money to do individual packets. Whereas you can get like. He he used like the example of like a five pound tub of protein. Right. If you were to break that down into single packets, you'd be paying, you know, let's say you were paying sixty dollars for the five pounds. Right. You'd be paying like a hundred and seventy for the five pounds in single packets. I can believe like, it. Like it costs triple the amount to do it. Because yeah. the amount of work to actually make the extra packaging and right. to seal it in there and to mm-hmm. pre measure where you 
On the other hand, you could just dump out. Well, the also thing too is you got to figure out <coughs> like, the companies that are going to manufacture all these proteins and whatnot for them. Right. Um, they're not going to do like a certain amount or a minimal amount, I should say. Mm-hmm. They're going to say, okay, you want us to do these? You got to order ten thousand of them off the bat. Right. And or the answer is no. Yeah, and it's plus it's easier to dump a shitload into a big container than have to separate it into small. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking thing. So I mean, yeah. So I I want to try it's all the 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 mountain op mountain op stuff. Oh right man, in, they had some eggnog protein. Yeah, you're all about that shit. I don't like pro- I mean, protein shakes are are fine and dandy. Like Damn. I could see if me and you went on a hunt where it was gonna be a couple days. That's when I would bring protein with me. Otherwise, I just like stuff in my face. I you know um, I have to say I do like BCAs though. But see the thing with the protein is that when you have all these different shakes, you get all these different flavors. And okay. it's it's got all good shit in it, but most it, sometimes proteins it's... are not good shit. Most proteins mm-hmm. are filler shit. No, no, no. What I mean is, versus actually having eggnog out of the carton, right? You know, that's gonna be a little better. I mean, you still have the taste. Oh, okay. I love eggnog. artificial eggnog flavor <laughs> instead of just the real shit out of a carton. Fuck, ugh, You're better off like just drinking... having the real shit out of a carton. Oh, uh, but it's it's like drinking all liquid fat. fat. It's fine. Oh my you God. only do it once a year. It's fine. Yeah, do one small like quarter gallon. But to me, to me right now, like if we're gonna try a lot of these, and I'm not gonna bash anybody because we haven't tried them. Right now, from all the stuff that we've done and doing the Spartan races and doing the training and stuff for that and all the jogging and shit like that, in my head, no matter what, I kind of almost go into trying BCAs, and they have to try and top Rich Pianas uh, all day. You may. Yeah, that one because, is. Because, I mean, you watch guys like uh, I'll Pump You Up dot com. He still, to this day, says nobody beats that one. It's good. You know, I have to say, for, um, like, it helps also with joint pain. It has like MSM that. in it, which makes your body rebuild cartilage. So if you're going out in the middle of nowhere, going up hills, down hills, mm-hmm. over rocks, through whatever else, and you're going to get a lot of joint pain just from that constant impact. Like, yeah. Uh, I have to say, that his stuff, well, now, unfortunately, he passed away. Well, Chanel still runs the company. Does she? Yes. She still okay. runs the company. The company's called 5% Nutrition. It's primarily done for bodybuilders. So just get that out the way. And I'm talking like bodybuilders, guys with 21, 22-inch arms. Yeah. But I got to so. put it out there that All Day You May is like for all around general improvement of like yeah because we were doing no bodybuilding we were just jogging 5k's every day and i'm a person that if i don't maintain my left knee my left knee will get itself fucked in three months yeah and good thing you don't have to be on them to get paid (laughs) (laughs) jesus christ but anyway i mean just but taking that i was able i mean after about a week you you know you that's when you start feeling the effects oh yeah i feel better today i woke up better and blah 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 you know, and by the time we did, the, you know, all the Spartan races and the Savage race and all other shit, my knees weren't really hurting anymore. My, I felt my knees get stronger, but mm-hmm. I, I myself felt better, you know. It's like a general health kind of feeling. Yeah, yeah, it was a general just good feeling. Yeah. Like, you drank it 20 minutes later, you felt like, oh, yeah, I feel pretty good right now. It's like you didn't feel like Yeah, it wasn't like you drank a fucking Red Bull and like, oh, I'm all cracked out. Mm-hmm. No, you just felt like, ah, oh, I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was nothing all strange. And it's not bad priced either. No, it's not. I mean, Amazon, you can get it off Amazon. Like 35 bucks for 50 servings or something like yeah. that. It's really not bad. You know, if bodybuilders, they go crazy. It. Like a normal person is going to go throw one scoop in a shaker. Yeah. You're fine. Bodybuilder guys are throwing four scoops in a gallon. Yeah. So it depends on what you level you're at. Right. Like we were, I mean, at our highest, when we were doing the 5Ks every single day, we mm-hmm. were taking two each a day. Yeah. You well, know, was, I'm still working out. Right. You on the other hand. No, I've been slacking like a fucker. Yeah. I'm still um I'm still trying to get back in shape from our second kid. Yes. I'm getting there. You are. Yep, yep. Eventually. Mm-hmm. So, I gotta get myself <laughs> back in and start running. Yes. 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 But yeah, definitely go check them out. Um and mm-hmm. as far as our our whole um event with our what we're bringing on our pack, we'll just keep updating everyone as we get stuff. Because mm-hmm. we like to talk about deals that we get. Deals and coupons are always good. Yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
Well, we found a couple of deals on the stuff that we're getting right now because we already mentioned your mm -hmm. arrows. Well, we can talk about my the coupon that we used on eBay. Hold on, let me get to that part yet. That wasn't mm. the first thing we purchased. All right, we had made the decision, like we had spoken in the last episode, about if we get Steph, if if we decide to get Steph another bow, it, we already said it was going to be an Evolve thirty five and blah blah blah. Oh, you're talking about my strings? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, can I get to that part? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> now everybody knows what I was trying to lead into here. My bad. Um. Yeah, we, when we said, okay, we're going to try and decide if we were going to get Steph another bow. And yes, it was going to be an Evolve 35 and this and that. And because it's a nice long bow, it's forgiving. And Steph just happens to be at the letter A on the draw length for an Evolve 35 of 26 inches. Because why? You're tiny. You're five foot two. No, it's because I'm awesome. A is for awesome. awesome. Okay, sure. Whatever. It's like the Lego movie. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid answer. Movie's great. Chris Pratt's the shit. Um, so we we did decide, okay, we're going to get Stephanie an Evolve 35. So we, you know, we're always trying to find new stuff, reasonable stuff. And we found this company called Delta Four Strings. Mm -hmm. I believe they were out of Arkansas, I believe it I is. I can look them up while you're talking. Okay. So we're like, all right, you know, let's give it a try. Price was really good. It cost us $63 for Steph's strings. Now it's the full string. Full string and Y cable or yoke cable, whichever you want to call it. Um, we ordered it in full fluorescent green with black serving. Now, when we got it, we were like, okay, you know, right away I take it out of the box. I was impressed right away. String, it felt really good. Everything was smooth. You know, you look at it real quick because you just want to check your shit out. Not one visible fray anywhere on it. Um, and then we bring it Saturday morning to Saluda River and the guys there. We got there as soon as they opened the door, so we were um, able to get her bow in. Hmm? They're out of... Oh, wait. Oh, here I go, butchering. Okay. What? <clears throat> They're out of Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're just going <laughs> to skip over the name. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we decided to go with those because their prices and everything were reasonable and just to, to test them out. So, like I said, Saturday morning we go to the range. We get there as soon as they open and they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll throw the strings on her bow and everything like that. They transferred the peep side over, put a brand new D loop on it, and we'll actually post pictures of it because we took a, a couple of pictures of the bow now with the new green, on, green strings and everything like that. Um, But... How do you like it? I mean, I like this the way the strings were on there. They they feel really, really well built. They're nice. They're solid. They're super quiet. You know, I have to say, um, well, first of all, when I when we first got them, I was a little weary because they like some actually package. Is our audio okay? No, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Um, we're out, that's fifty minutes almost already. Oh, that that was what you were looking at. Yeah. I thought our audio was messing up. No, 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 no. Oh, good. Geez. I can't say fucking women because you're a male. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just. All right, get into your, your how you feel. Um, so usually when you see strings, like I'm used to seeing them in the longer package, like they're uh oh yeah yeah they're they, packaged, they were, were fold up, up pretty, pretty they're good. They're folded up, and I was like, before and I they opened did it, ship them pre-twisted. Yeah. The, so the end loops and were, waxed. Yeah, pre-waxed and pre-twisted and stretched, and everything's already so, done. So. When before I even opened them, before I even saw the strings, and there was a little itty bitty package, I was like, oh. is it, "Did I only get one string?" Was she like, was nervous. Fuck. She was nervous. They did they like screw something up? We we don't know anything about this company. We haven't ordered anything. Well, from originally them. you thought you had only got the string and not the the yoke cable. Yeah. And like, that's oh, when I took shit. it. We took them out of the box, the like, bag, real did fast. Did I just pay sixty dollars for only half my shit? <laughs> Well, no, actually, if you really think about it, I mean, the, the amount of money I paid for the inertia's one string, your string on your Stinger X is almost 90 inches long because it's gigantic because it has one idler cable. It's not a twin right. uh, cam system. So it has one yoke cable and one super long string. Yeah. So, well, so yeah, but basically... It was a full kit, though. It was both. Yeah, it was, um, you know, and the string looked great. The, the colors, you know, spot on. It actually looks good. That bitch is but, loud from across the room. Yeah, it's fucking it's lime. It's like, oh, it's green. It's oh, yes. It's lime. It's very lime. Very yeah, capital. It's fluorescent green, yeah. It's capital lime. Capital oh, on capital, the flow. Capital, uh, yeah. Capital letters. 
But um, anyway, you know, I got used to my old string where we we put it up to, we had them see what the pounds were at. And it was at 52 pounds that I was pulling back. 51. It was 51? 51. So 51 and... It is not 51 anymore. You know, I got, I have to say, pulling that back, it, it didn't, like, it wasn't a struggle. That's why we moved it up. I was like, right, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you see, holding it, my strings were starting to get, we knew we had to replace them. Oh, yeah. And at the end... It starts to feel like um, when something's a little bit stretched out, you can kind of you can kind of get you can the feel feeling. the bunginess of it. Yeah, like you're pulling it back, and you can kind of feel the give with it a little bit. And that's that's what was going on with my old one. So with this one, I got so used to that other give that I was getting with the string that I, you know, if some of you are thinking like, "What the hell is she talking about with give?" It's just I'm trying to describe the feeling. All right, of, if you, I'll do it, it easy way. Is if you've anyone who's shot a bow for an extended long amount of time. What she's basically referring to is if you feel like your valley all of a sudden is longer on your bow. Okay, that it's that's too a spongy. Way of yeah, yeah. Spongy. It's spo it's a spongy valley. That's what you felt like. Because that's how you were describing it to me. And I'm like, you talk about the valley being spongy where you can like pull past where you're supposed to be able to. And you're like, yeah. So that's it. You know, sometimes I really can't get the words out correctly. That's fine. That's fine. Sometimes. Well, mm -hmm. okay. 90% of the time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you put on the new strings. And I have to say, the pounds that, that, to pull back of what it feels like the, that I had the effort that I have to put in right. is not is not the same. I have to put in a lot more effort. I mean, it does it does feel a lot heavier, but I gotta say they. I mean, overall feeling from. I mean, so far it's only been the one day because it was yesterday that we had them put on. Right. And we were at the range for a little bit yesterday. Saturday, morning. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Today's Sunday, yes. Yesterday. Yeah. So, you know, I have to say the overall feeling with them, it's the, uh, it's good. I mean, I, I'm i trying to get you the words together. You shot really, really well yesterday. They, you know, it, they feel really. Um, the back wall and valley are not spongy anymore. Yeah. You said it was rock solid. Every, yeah. It, everything on the bow, that's a, actually a good word for it. It felt more solid to it. Right. You know, I have to say these strings were were pretty good, especially for the sixty something dollars we got for. Yeah, yeah, definitely. for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have a couple more, um, you know, times to go with the range with them. Yeah, but I have to say, if as of right now, our first impression of these people. So everyone uh, knows. Oh wait, hold on. I will say finish. one more thing though. Your bow hold picked up a shit ton of speed. Yeah, it did. Because your did. sight was nowhere near. Look, before you were dead center, fine, fine, oh. fine, fine, fine. And right now, that thing's hauling ass so hard, the arrows are high. Yeah, and you know, and the first time around, I, I, you forget about these things. And I'm like, damn, I'm really that off? Like, what mm -hmm. the hell's going on with the? And you just forget about these little right. things until you think back, like, oh, shit, okay. There's mm -hmm. other things that have changed, the speed, the, you have to reset your sight, you have to adjust, so. Yep. We still have to do some adjustments on that, but I have to say, because everyone knows how much I love the shit on companies when they deserve it, deserve it. Okay. Okay. Where is this leading to? <laughs> um, I want to know which company we're shitting on here. No, I'm not shitting on anyone. Oh, I'm okay. I'm about to say, I'm like, that we took off the original shit that was almost two years old. I don't sugarcoat it. So oh, um, no, what I'm saying is, that. is that if you're looking for strings. And you're not into spending the extra money and you need to, you're buying everything on a budget, you know, because you only got X amount to spend on, on this kind of stuff. These strings at this price were really, really, really worth it. And I have to say we bought them off eBay and um, they do have their own website you can go to. I haven't really looked through it too much, but if you go on eBay, they're on eBay. And, and the, oh, just because we did check their website, the, okay. the price is actually identical. Okay. The price is so, the same on their website. The only reason we went through eBay is because I have the eBay credit card and I get a shit ton of points. Yeah. So um, you can check them out through eBay. But I have to say the day we ordered them, we got the confirmation right away. And then right after the confirmation, they... They kind of walked us through, okay, your order is in processing. Okay, your order is ready. Mm -hmm. um, okay, your order has been picked up for shipping. Right. I mean, they are definitely, as far as that goes, on point. 
Mm -hmm. They they are very okay, like step by step. This is what's going on with your order. And even though if we're out of season right now or it's not their busier time, um, they are, I, I have to say, I, have, I give them a lot of credit. I, I really oh, yeah. like them yeah. as far as strings go. They, um, well, we got, we got your strings pretty damn fast, too. I mean, we really did. Less than a week. Yeah. From order, from like sitting down at the computer and ordering them to physically getting them in hand, it, it was less than a week. Mm -hmm. I have to say. Yeah. And I mean, whether that is because they happen to have uh, my size strings in that color on on hand already, and they could have just picked it up off the shelf, stuck it in the package, and was like, "Here, there you go, they're already ready." Right. Um, first impression of them is, I have to say, spot on. Yeah, yeah, they're good. We ordered some more strings. Mm hmm. So I want to see if that takes the same amount of time to get those. Yeah, actually, I have to order another set. I have to order and a third gonna, set. So we'll. Well, see, but I mean, as far as letting you know what's going on with the stuff that you just bought, they are definitely on point, and their price is, is great. Mm -hmm. Even mine, uh, just because I already looked it up, because I want to swap the strings on the inertia. Right. Um, mine was 65 for a triple cable system. Okay. So, it's still a really good price. Mm -hmm. I mean, anywhere else I try to buy strings from, I'm, I'm looking in the hundreds. Yeah. You know, 110, 120. Um. Even sixty X, it's like ninety something dollars. I yep. think it is for the triple, the triple, and for shit service. No, <laughs> that service was not done with a smile. Yeah, no, well, not on our end. So, um, yeah, so your your bow did shoot very well with them. We had to do some tweaking to yeah. your sight and everything. But we had both kids with us at the range, so and yeah, plus yeah. they were getting kind of busy. So we, you know, after we our cut time, it short. we cut it short just to be fair. It's not fair to to take up like a whole section right you know because we had our two kids so they you know what they are our son stays in one spot but he, we still take up, up the extra room because he's not shooting he's just kind of oh yeah there. yeah we, we control like they have a, a whole area where like there's a there's table, table and stuff like that where they usually probably throw like kids parties we take up the whole table just because we have the baby in the car seat and then our son is sitting there yeah and honestly they don't you know, and I'm not I'm not bad mouthing anyone there because the um the shop everyone that works here doesn't mind they have no problem with it you know the uh, the other people that go to the range you know some have their older kids with them I think we're the ones with the youngest that go there that I've seen that we've seen that yeah. I've that I've physically seen because you know there's other times that obviously we're not there but you know everyone that shoots there is like don't worry about it you know but you don't want to be that asshole and kind of take advantage of people and like oh, okay you don't have a problem with it all right let me just yeah you know take whatever time i i need and not have any courtesy for anyone else mm -hmm. so <clears throat> but it, it's uh i have to say i'm, I'm glad we found that range because uh, oh everyone, everyone there's there awesome. is awesome everybody's really absolutely great. awesome so even the guy who put on my strings he was uh, he's only there normally in the week well we don't see him because we're there at early in the morning yeah. So, but yeah, but we've only I've only seen him there on weekends. So I don't know. Maybe just he maybe he just works the weekends, or evenings, or evenings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We only see him during the weekend. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's just my point is that everyone there is actually you know it's it's really pleasant to be around, mm -hmm. which is nice. Oh, absolutely. You don't want to be shooting a bunch around a around a bunch of assholes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. So Delta Force bowstrings. Go, you can go on eBay, check them out. Uh, they do have a website, deltaforcebowstrings.com. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd give them a look if you need strings. Definitely something to look for. Um, you don't have to pay the price to actually get a decent a quality item and get some decent customer service. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. this is not sponsored. I know that sounds like an ad. Well, that's that's what we always say that every time we say something we're like we're not we're still not sponsored and we really haven't been looking for it. Yeah. So, you know, if we say something's good, it's because we actually used it and tried it and and so on. Yeah. So, so and then okay, so we got my strings in, and then the the next thing coming. What's coming tomorrow? Well, actually, I I bought something at the range also for myself. Oh. I bought. Oh, jeez, I bought one thing. <laughs> and it, I've said it before is the the one thing about my HHA optimizer that I don't like is the fact that I had the two inch housing. Mm -hmm. 
well, our range happened to have one of the housings in stock, and right. now I swapped out my two inch for an inch and five eighths. And uh, when we go to the range this week, Tuesday or whatever, I'm going to leave the bow with them after we're done shooting, whatever. Because I'm just going to mess around with it just to do with it because it's got the inch and five eighths. And mm -hmm. I got to actually I have to spin the head around because it's, it's upside down. It, yeah, right now it's a drop pin instead of an up pin. I, I'm almost tempted to try and shoot with it that way because it looks pretty fucking nifty. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to leave it with them, but they're going to do a full laser three axle adjustment mm -hmm. between, you know, the sight and the arrow rest to try and get everything dead straight. Okay. Now let's go into what's coming. Wait, wait, what time are we at? One hour. Mm. Did I make everyone wait? No, don't be an asshole. Yeah, but I'm always an asshole. Okay. Well, it's up to you. It's your call. It's your mm -hmm. stuff. I don't know. Choices. Nah, fuck it. So we ordered, we ordered my uh, my Evolve thirty five, my new bow, and uh, we got that. Oh, well, my arrows are coming tomorrow. And my bow is coming tomorrow. Yes. And then the range opens on Tuesday. Yep. Yes. So Stephanie <laughs> has a two thousand seventeen <laughs> Evolve thirty five, mm -hmm. sixty pound model. Yes. And I found out that it is, is a twenty pound adjustment. That it can go down almost 20 pounds because the bolts can turn out 10 times a piece. Well, you know what? I don't so need to go down 20 We're pounds. just going to set it to 50 pounds. We're going to tell the guys at the range here, please set this to 50. Be done. Yeah. Um. So, yes, you, you have your... And it's camo. It's not black. So, you actually have a camouflage Evolve 35. It's got black limbs and whatnot. Yeah. But we, we uh, used a nice little coupon. If you were on eBay on... Uh, Oh, shit. What day was it? Wednesday? Thursday. Wednesday. Something like that. Wednesday or Thursday. They were running a 20% off sale. Max of $100 Max off. Max of 100 We got 100 bucks. And off it was off everything. It, was just, it wasn't just specific vendors. It was off anything in all of eBay. Yeah. So we got that as a, a, at a pretty good price. Yes. Uh, it was actually a store demo, lightly used, which is just like, you know, let people... Try it. Okay, no, you don't like it. Back on the shelf it goes. Right. Um, they said it had less than 100 shots on it. And we paid $520 for a $1,000 bow. Yep, that's shipped. And, and yeah, that was, that was shipped, so. Yeah. Which yeah. was good. Yep. So you have your bow coming. It'll be here uh, tomorrow. Yes, it'll be, be here tomorrow Monday. with my arrows. With your FMJ 400s. Yep. Uh, we got to do some, put some parts on it. Which is going to be the bad part because, like always, because of the way our uh, our post office and everything here delivers, I will be walking out the door as the shit comes in. Comes in. <laughs> so you won't have an arrow rest on that bow. You won't have a sight on that bow. You're just going to get to look at it. Well, I could do it myself. But you'd be like, oh, and just redo everything. Yeah, exactly. That's why. <laughs> I'd have to redo it all. No, you're not. <laughs> That's okay. Because, you know, we can't take her to the range until Tuesday anyway. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't even matter. But I'll post pictures up of, of what it is when I get it. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have to refletch the arrows coming in. No, not refletch. They're bear shafts. I ordered bear shafts. I'm sorry. Yes. I ordered bear shafts and actually paid the fee to have them cut. Not refletched, yeah. Yeah, so they'll be coming in. They just need to be knocked and fletched. No, there's knocks on them. Is there? Yep, there's standard knocks on them. I thought they didn't... Nope, they come with them. Bear shafts, all eastern arrows come with knocks on them. Oh, what was the ones that we bought that didn't come with? No, they didn't come with inserts. My axes didn't come with inserts, <gasps> which collect, collect dust right now in the closet. Maybe you should just get rid of them. No. They're fine. I mean, they're, they're new. Yeah, they but you don't use them. sat on a store shelf, and they were like, oh... Give me 40 bucks for them. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You want me to give you $40 for $80 arrows? Sure. Maybe you should bring them as backup to the event. No, I can't. Why? Because they shoot so fucking high. Oh, okay. Good like, then. if I, like, right now then my sight is set on 20, I have to put the sight to zero to hit 20 with the same. Then if you're arrows. not going to use them, then why not? No, I'll out. use them. I, I want to see now with. A couple of things changed on the bow. Because okay. last time I was having a little bit of issues with them. Okay. They seem to be so pulling in different we directions. have my um, my new bow, my mm -hmm. new arrows. We bought another set of strings from, the, from, from Delta Force. From Delta Force, yep. For the, the Evolve. Evolve. 
also that, that was agree. actually like what a couple dollars cheaper it was four bucks cheaper yeah and it'd be like 58 dollars shipped for full strings for an evolve yeah and same thing fluorescent green black serving yes everything is lime green for me mm -hmm. and then we have uh some new stabilizers coming in for my bow yes we or got a you new your, stabilizer your wick, wick sticks wick, wick, wick wicked, stick. wicked sticks no i think it's called wick sticks no it's wicked like wicked okay i'm pretty like, sure it's wick stick uh, let me look this up. Hold on. Let's see. Google and... Wait, did you order the new site that we were talking about? No, I didn't order it yet. Do you want me to? Mm. Is that one's got the knob on it. Oh, no. Actually, matter of fact, I did email him. Email? Email. email. Yeah, no. I'm getting <laughs> tired. Um, I did email the guy about it. Yeah, uh, they are. They are with the... Yeah, I told you. Where... Uh, why am I... Re you know, I don't know if it's just because I'm... Uh, we're tired mm. so but yeah we also ordered like your stabilizer's coming it's carbon fiber stabilizer mm -hmm. with all fluorescent green you know beginning end and black and fluorescent green weights yes so. I'll post, uh, everything's gonna be posted on us pictures mm -hmm. on our instagram account and so i guess we'll be ordering a new site too well, we're going to get to the newer version of the Range Rover. Yeah, we're just they... not going to get you the one with the LEDs because all the reviews for the LEDs one that's out now mm -hmm. are shit. Oh. Like, they can't see the LED. We're in the woods even with that at 10. It's not bright enough anymore or they changed something on it. Okay. So you're used to your single pin. I'll just get you the one with the wheel on it and all that stuff. Okay. Either that or, like I said, if we can try and get you like an optimizer, uh, optimizer light ultra okay. edition, which looks like mine but shorter. Okay. Doesn't have to be All the right. three hundred plus dollar one. But my magnifier is going to transfer over, so that, that was glow, yes. my yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my main thing. As long as I can keep my magnifier on mm -hmm. my site, then I was good. Right. So I'll pretty much yeah I'll have like a a new a new setup. This bow is going to be completely like. Everything is gonna be yeah new, but I'm I'm still keeping my my stinger my stinger X. Yeah, I don't blame that. You. I, I yeah, I don't think I'll ever get rid of that one. That That's one's fine. gonna stay. Be Anthony's bow when he's old enough. Maybe put or it back on learn knows? mode and back it all the way down. Who knows what's gonna be out by the time? Because I mean, look at your Browning that you had, your old Browning. Yeah. And how many years ago was that? A long time ago. But th think of the time gap. From when my, my Stinger X was, was made, so 2016, right. to when he will be, let's just say, a teenager. Right, right, right. I mean, well, my point who is, knows I mean, that, the that, difference. That'll be a learning bow. You know, the, the bow well, my, goes into 30 pounds. Yeah, but my, my point being is that look at the difference in the technology of how the Browning was designed to how... Oh, all the new the, shit. The yeah, new yeah. ones. All the gigantic S cams. Yeah, so who knows what is, you know, going to be out being produced by the time he's he's shooting that's true you know then uh by that time i mean if you just buy him like okay let me just buy him one of the older models but in this time it's still going to be you know how many how much newer than in mm -hmm. technology like technology wise than than ours oh yeah yeah absolutely so that'll be interesting to see i don't know where they could possibly go but i guess that's they're updating shit every that's single the reason year. why i'm not the one coming up with the ideas well, that's engineers who make a lot more money. Yeah. Yeah. I go to school and paid a lot of money for that degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're paying off their loan debt first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope they get a free bow every year, probably. Yay, what a perk. Yeah, exactly. Nah, that's all right. If but, you love what you do, then it doesn't matter. Right. So what we are, we're, right now, everything on your bow is being replaced. We're putting one of the, the arrow rests that we have here on it for now. I'm going to yeah. put that QAD Hunter on it. Which is fine. Which we have. It's another fork style. Um, but we're going to leave the, uh, the Stinger X together the way it is with the lock fire. is going to stay on there. Yeah. Um, this version of the Range Rover is going to stay on there. Uh, we're going to transfer over. My peep. Yes, we're transferring over your hooded specialty archery peep and yeah. also your magnifier. Yeah, that's definitely over. getting transferred right. over. So, but that thing's going to stay with the... Uh, with the static stabilizer and all that, it's going to just stick the way it is. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting to see how this... This bow is going to be bigger, so 90% let off. 
Oh, man, it's going to be like holding air. Well, yeah, it really is. Yeah. I mean, after everything's on that bow, you should be able to pull it on a, a, a scale mm -hmm. and let the bow go, and it should stay at full draw by itself. Yeah, I'm not going to try that. Oh, no, I know we're not going to try. I'm not but 90% is five pounds. With Ugh. nothing on it, the bow is almost four and a half. If we put your arrow rest and your stabilizer on it and your sight on it, the bow should sit there at full draw by itself. That's under insanity. its own weight. Under its own weight, it should be able to just sit there and float. I've seen videos that like that. I'm like, you know, you see the videos on YouTube of like, the, this bow might blow up. I'm going to watch it. And it was a 70 pound evolve on 90% let off. Mm -hmm. And he had same thing like I have, you know, front bar, back bar. Um, I think he was running like the newer QAD Ultra mm -hmm. Arrow Rest or whatever. With the kingpin like I have on mine. And the dude literally pulls it down and backs away from the bow and it just stood there. And I'm like, Ugh. oh shit. I'm like, oh my god. The bow under its own weight stays open. This would be great. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not going to be getting another bow anytime soon. I don't need to. You're probably not going to need to. I mean, this no. bow should be able to do hunting. What we're going to be doing to these 3D events and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, you you we're buying you like an all around bow that is one step over. Next step is all target shit. That won't be for like months. Months. <laughs> wow, that <laughs> months. Holy shit! God, I gotta get another bow first. My God. No, no. I, you know what? No, I have to. You know what? I gotta put this out there because you just made that comment. What? In our, not oh, our last yeah. episode, but the games and stuff like that. In our other one, I said, and I wish I could do audio clips of this. I said that the minute I buy a bow, Anthony is going to be like, oh, I'm going to buy a bow too. It can't be just a one-sided thing. Mm -hmm. You know, the minute that my bow was bought. <laughs> the minute he, that she got approved. <laughs> he was out there looking for bows. Like five minutes before he has to go to work, he's, he's shopping mm -hmm. for bows, shopping for bows. I mean, we're like in the store. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm just looking, just looking. He's looking for bows because he wants a bow. Oh, I, yeah. I was looking. They mm -hmm. didn't have any more Evolve 35s uh, for a good price. Everything else w was going to be, you know, brand new out the box, 2018s. And I'm just not. Ooh, that's the money. Uh, yeah, I'm cheap. It's $1,000. Mm -hmm. So um, I did find the only other bow that I, that I know for a fact that I like. Mm-hmm. Which, because we I shot it up at the uh, the New York Sportsman Show when we went, right? Was the Hoyt Pro Defiant Thirty Four, and same shit, two thousand seventeen demo model and all that shit, and I could have picked that bow up for five hundred and fifty dollars. I was like, ah, nah, I like held off on it. Not my fault. Not my fault. No, it's fine. No, I, I don't know. I mean, like, I've been shooting PSEs and stuff like that for so long. It's like, yeah, do, do, do I really do I want to change? Do I really want to change right now? You know, it, I see all these other bows. I mean, Matthews is doing a really a lot of stuff right now with the Halon 32, the Halon X and stuff like that. And their target sides, all the TRX stuff is really, really well, awesome. Look at it this way. For the Sportsman show coming up. Mm-hmm. They're probably going to have bows oh. from different companies that you can demo. Mm -hmm. And you could probably demo a bunch of them and be like, oh, okay, wait, this one does feel a little bit better or this one feels a little bit better. And you never know, they might be running some sales, which, you know, they usually do. Because if they can sell, if they can chop off some, some money and right. sell the bow right then and there, they'll do it. Because mm -hmm. the longer they sit on it, then they just start, you'll, it'll start losing money eventually. Oh, absolutely. So you can usually get, you know, good deals at, at shows like that. Mm -hmm. Especially when they don't have to ship them out and, you know, they don't have to worry about that nonsense. Right. So we'll see. You know, we'll, uh, we'll be looking for some deals and stuff like that. I know we're going to try to maybe do some small clips. I, I got to figure out Instagram stories and shit like that i think you just like hit it and it records <laughs> or you can like record a video and post it or something i bet we'll figure it out because we'll probably do uh some small clips from the show of some interesting things they mm -hmm. have there because we will also have our two tiny humans with us our two tiny humans yes so they will be with us so it's not like we'll be um 
able to just focus on on getting whatever we can out. Right. So, but that'll be fun. It'll be interesting to see. Oh yeah, I, well, I in... enjoy just walking around. I mean, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Mm-hmm. It's like the uh, uh, the money pit. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, that How was our construction it... joke. Two weeks. Yeah. How long is it gonna take to get done? Eh, two weeks. Yep. Two weeks. Money Pit with Tom Hanks. Mm-hmm. Funny movie. Great movie. Classic. Made in the eighties. Mm-hmm. Eighty six or something like that. Oh, you were like three. Yeah, I was, I was little. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So more to come. You'll be seeing pictures tomorrow, and when we get everything else, and then the finished setup, and then we have a lot going on. We have yes. a lot. Yeah, definitely a lot going on. So, but it's all good. Mm-hmm. All good. Trying to progress. Oh. Yeah. So that sums up what I'm. That's pretty much everything. I mean, we got Doug covered. We got the the two events that we know for a fact right now we're going to. We're going to be going to one in July, but that's all the way in July, and that's out by Atlanta. It's another sports. I could have sworn there was one in April. Like I really, really thought there was one in April. It's like five hours away from us in North Carolina. That was the one. Yeah, yeah. It's in Greenville, North Carolina, I believe. Hmm. But, but it's like just the the routing and stuff like that we'd have to do. Oh, that's right, because home. it's not a, a direct drive. There's not like a road that directly no. goes. So no. we have to kind of go over and over up. Over and, and up and all around. And, and through. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's definitely fine. We're running, you know, we're running into more shows down here than we were up north. Like there's more options. There are. Well, in New York, I mean, if if we wanted to go to another show in New York, we'd have to literally drive from where we lived in Orange County. We'd have to drive to Syracuse. Yeah. So that was already, you know, no matter what we did, it was going to be a two-hour drive going to Syracuse. I don't know. Is it two hours to Syracuse or three hours? I don't know. know, Whatever. New York is a giant-ass state. So, but we'd have to drive from where we were to Syracuse. Yeah. To go to another show. And then the other shows were like Buffalo or... There was one that was past Albany somewhere, but it was a very small one. But it's nice that the fact that we're... When I list, I was like, no, we're not going to bother going. Yeah, that we're bordering all these different states. Right, here, yeah. Because yeah. you have options. Because usually when you're in a state, they run like one or two. And if you're in the middle of a really big state, it, it, you don't find as many. But right. when you're on borderline of, you know, a couple different ones... Is... I find a lot of fishing ones, though, in this area, which are... But a lot of bass fishing shows going on and all, you know, flat boat events and stuff like that. Yeah. Arcabella's over here in Greenville is notorious for that. Yeah. They do a lot of... Uh... Fly uh, tying lessons and all yeah. sorts of stuff. Um, not events, but they do a lot of, uh, uh, like, how-to or seminars. Yeah, seminars, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where some of the staff, like, they'll go through and they teach you everything and, mm-hmm. and whatnot. Which is actually kind of cool because this weekend they were doing a couple different ones. They're yeah, doing that's some, some turkey like, giveaway. Know, air, uh, turkey. Oh, yeah, the decoys. The, um, yeah, the, yeah, they're the the giving some decoys, turkeys. but they were giving uh, they were giving a couple other things with it away. It was like a package. And they had that that uh, that raffle that was a hundred dollars a ticket for that badass looking monster Chevy Silverado that was lifted and yeah. badass rims and diesel and. Oh. But a hundred bucks for a raffle ticket. I know it's oh, for I a know. truck, but well, it was supposed to be charity and this and that and. I mean, yeah, good for ass. them. No, it's good for them if they're doing it for charity and stuff like that. Yeah, but they're it was sitting awesome right looking. next to the goddamn Girl Scouts that are sucking, suckering you into buying freaking cookies. You guys want some cookies? Man, they they pick the smallest one out of the crowd to go up to you Yo, with trippy. their big eyes, like, can you buy some cookies? <laughs> Fuck, no, <laughs> no. Does it look like I need a fucking cookie? <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, um, <laughs> we'll be finding out what's going to be going on here to finish the update on your bow, because it'll be getting put together Yeah. this week. Yeah. Actually, you'll probably have me put it together Tuesday morning. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to go to the range. Pretty much. No, you'll probably get home from work Monday night. And Bo will be sitting out here like, with a tag, post like, it, Christmas. put me together. Got to put the arrow rest on it. Uh, do you want me to transfer your... No, I just thought of something. I really mm-hmm. can't I can't shoot it until everything comes because I'm not taking everything off my stinger to put it on there for, like, what, a couple days? And then to take everything back off. And what then is this get... eye shit? I'm the one that's going to do it. <laughs> the fuck is this? 
This eye bullshit. This ain't no eye. It's me. Listen, you're going to have me do it all. I can still shoot. I still have to take the stuff off anyway because I have to take the quick right. disconnect off your stabilizer no matter what and transfer that over to the Evolve. You're going to have to put a wrist sling on it, so we're going to have to do that shit anyway. When are my wick sticks supposed to get here? Did we get a confirmation I don't know. It's Sunday. Yet? You have an order confirmation, but I have a shipping confirmation. It's Sunday. Does anyone fucking work around here? No. <laughs> No, we found out today you can't buy hard liquor in South Carolina on a Sunday. Yeah, go figure. I you never knew that. You can buy wine and beer, but yeah, there's no uh, no, no sale no of hard, hard liquor, liquor on we, Sunday. We finally finished our bottle of Tito's after owning it for two years. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, you know what? We'll see when everything else is supposed to get in, mm -hmm. and then I'll see because then we're gonna have the new strings put on. All right. It's gonna be a whole lot of moving stuff around. Well, when the strings show up, I mean, you can shoot the thing if you want to shoot it before the new strings show up. Yeah, but and I just still get a have, feel for it. You know, I just put on the new strings on my um my okay, stinger. then shoot the stinger. Mm. Yeah, it's all on you. None of that pressure is on me. No, so much all, pressure. I'm gonna. I have the arrow rest sitting out, so I'm gonna put the arrow rest on it no matter what when it shows up. We have plenty of spare stabilizers in the house. We could slap a true glow stabilizer on it for a day. Than just the sight. And then all I have to do is transfer the sight. And I have extra sights. Yeah, but I got that, that peep that's got to get swapped out. You know, we could put the uh, put the precision on the on the. Uh, I could stinger. put the original back on the stinger. Actually, I could put my green one in the stinger. Oh, true. I have a fluorescent green one from my bear. Hey, you want to you want to talk about people working that are on the ball? It's a Sunday, and mm -hmm. I emailed the the TAC guys, so the Total Archery Challenge guys, right. earlier, People. just asking him a general question, mm -hmm. and thinking, it's Sunday, they're not going to get back to me. Bam, I just got an email from her. Awesome. Saying her response that of the question I asked. Okay. So, no, I'm just, I'm just showing you that I don't want to hear that, oh, it's Sunday, it's People aren't going to be, you know what? Those people are on the ball. Well, that's good for them. I mean, they're doing big ass events. Yeah. Watch. Well, she's probably like on her couch on her Blackberry, just texting. But sometimes that's what you have to do. A hey, Blackberry? Man. Who the fuck still owns a Blackberry? I don't know. Fucking Blackberry. You ever, you ever reference people who are at work all the time? You're like, yeah, on their Blackberry. And who, no one uses Blackberry anymore. Yeah, nobody does anymore. Are they even still, they're still in they're business. They're still in business. They're they still, still make phones. New, I don't yeah. know who uses them, though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta cut me off at this point. Okay, we're done. Because <laughs> I can keep going. So, but we will keep everybody posted on about what comes in, what goes out. I'm gonna be switching my strings out here shortly on my inertia. Also, yeah, we're gonna do red on yours, right? Red and black. No, we're not doing red and black. I already have red and black. I'm doing <laughs> orange. <laughs> well, that's right. Because wait, hold on. I have. I gotta say this before we go. <laughs> So <laughs> I was trying to cut you off here, huh? No, no, no I gotta say this because it's funny. So we're getting we ordered the evolve for me, right? And he's asking before we thought of the color because I did green on my Stinger X. So he's asking, you know, you want to continue the green on your evolve? I'm like, nah. <laughs> I was thinking of doing like orange, something different. Man, the dirtiest look that I <laughs> got. <laughs> <laughs> trying what? to jump on the orange bandwagon <laughs> I'm like what the fuck i don't i didn't i didn't understand at the time what the hell was going on man with that dirty ass look but then i come to find out that he wants to switch everything over to hit orange on his bow yep and i can't be jumping on the orange bandwagon can't, gotta him. stay off the orange bandwagon we can't come in with matching bows nope <laughs> just, i had to i had to okay. there's no other way to tie that in anywhere else no probably not <laughs> <laughs> but all right, folks. Well, this is episode 35 of the Off Center Arches. Yeah. And we will keep everybody posted about what goes on. I'm sure we're going to end up doing one about the hunt, uh, the sportsman show down here. Yeah. If not, we've actually been contemplating getting a microphone for the car because we talk about some funny shit while we're in the car pertaining to archery and we Steph. just ramble in the car yeah yeah, yeah. just to give people a, you know a good laugh those if we do those i'll have to end like actually 20 editing clips. those yeah those will be more edited because no, we don't edit these at all so uh we will be back 
very soon and uh let you know what we uh we come along with yeah yes yeah. all right everybody have a nice week yeah.